Hello everyone and welcome to another exclusive training video, VTM, Video Training Module, by 3dbuzz.com. This time around what we're looking at is creating concept art, issue number two, with your host, Mr. Derek Stevens. I'm glad to be here. How are you doing, Buzz? Hey, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Uh, a little warm the lights. Yeah, we've got um, quite a quite a large amount of lights in the room, I'd have to say. We're, we're running what they call the poor man studio, you know, where we're doing this in basically the dining room, except we have no table to eat with because we had to sell it so we could get some money to buy the lights, and then we get 4,000 watts worth of lights, and we light up the room as if it was daytime out in the desert somewhere. You know what? You indubitably light up my life. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Oh, so anyways, now that I'm feeling mm -hmm. even more warm than I was a second ago, I okay. guess we should go ahead and start out and tell them what this VTM is going to be about. Uh, this VTM is about image planes. It's about the creation of image planes. Correct, from start to finish. Now, everyone uh, should have finished assignment one or two or working on this uh, with their menu And, and what Derek's talking about is, just in case somebody's out there that perhaps don't know about the online class, mm. is that there is an online class for concept art over at MasteringUnreal.com. And, you know, just in case you're not enrolled in that, you may want to go over there and check it out because, of course, it's free. And uh, you get a little bit of direction from Mr. Derek Stevens himself as he you know, critiques your work as you do stuff. and So anyways, when he's referring to assignments, he's referring to the first module of that particular class. Correct, sir. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, but we should all be familiar with the uh, little manga girl here. Now, in this particular form, I, I, I call it manga deformed, because she's only four heads high. One, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is turn this 2D rendering here into image planes that you see here. And but what's the purpose of image planes, just in case we have anybody out there that has no clue about 3D applications? Well, funny you should ask. Now, what I'm going to teach everybody today is to t create or take a visual idea from 2D, which we have here, make image planes front and side view and orthographic view, so we can hand these off to a modeler. Okay. And from that we'll be able to create this beautiful, cute little manga girl in the 3D realm in your favorite 3D application package. Keep going. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, I want to talk about tools of the trade very first off. Uh, now, the first uh, time we just talked and discussed about uh, using a pencil and a stump or uh, a smudge stick, as I like to refer them. That's right. Uh, but now it's time for the big boys to come out because these tools are essential cannot create image planes without them. The first one, if you want to pan back just a little bit. So let's see how we can pan back here. I guess we could, well, that would be panning in, yes, <laughs> zooming in. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Okay. Okay, this is called a T-square uh, because it looks like a T. I'm scared. And I pity the fool. I pity you. That was my Mr. T. Okay, what we're going to do is this flat edge right here is going to become flush up against the table. When this happens, we can use our pencil or pen to create straight lines. Now this becomes essential when you want to line up these image planes from the front to side view. They must they must be exact. If they're not, what type of problems would you run into? Well now this is not really a modeling class. However, if they're not exact, the modeler you hand this off to is gonna have one heck of a problem. The symmetry is not perfect. If one iota, if she has a shoulder pad on the, in the front that's not lined up on the side, the image, when the modeler gets it, it it's not going to jive. So everything must be In other exact. words, it's going, to be diff it's going to be difficult when referring to a front image and a side image, and you are making adjustments in the front image, and then you look over at your side image to find out that things aren't aligning right with that particular image Correct. in regards to the front. That was a mouthful, baby. Yes, it was. Holy cow. <laughs> the next thing that we're going to need is uh, the almighty pencil. Now, I prefer to use a mechanical pencil because it is always sharp. Different schools of thoughts. Also, tape. Now, any tape will do. Uh, this is scotch tape. Uh, well, I can use some duct tape. You can use duct tape. However, if you want to continue to keep your renders, you got to be really careful taking it up because it will rip. Okay. So you got to be careful. Okay. All right. Uh, the next thing is good old graph paper. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but honest to goodness, this is graph paper. Now, this is going to help line our images up. Again, this is essential to make everything exact. Also, we have a light table. As Derek now digs it out from behind. Excuse, excuse me while I whip this out. Here we go. This light table, again, I hate the word uh, to use it again, essential. 
but this will uh, speed up your workflow tremendous. When you draw image planes, it's very important to mirror them over so you have perfect symmetry. And this light table here, as I turn the light on and increase your power bill even more, uh, will help mm. out. Ooh. I just seen Elvis from by. Look, there he goes again. Uh, these things are essential. These are the tools. If you don't have the tools, you need to go out and get them. Okay. And uh, that'll pretty much wrap up this first part of tools. Okay. Did do you want to talk about like why exactly you need a light table? Well, I can address it now if you like. Just me yeah, to. just real cool. You know, they're they're like you know you just show me this cool tool, but why do I need it? Okay. Well, why you need it? If you take a look right here, if you can throw the camera in my way just a little bit. This beautiful face here. All right, what I'm going to do is essentially put this down here. And if you've seen how I lined this up from here to here, I cut her face in half. So later on in modeling, when you decide to mirror the geometry over, if indeed that's your workflow, things will attach properly. So we're going to use a graph paper to line this up, and you would draw one side of the face here, and you can continue to draw through and around, because it's really hard to draw something, especially organic, and just stop right on a dime. So what we got to do is we've got to nail one side exact, make it look good. Once we have this side nailed, what we can do is get another piece of paper, trace what we just had, put that back down on the light table, and trace it over this image right here. So that's the significance, helping us uh, helping illuminate those... Uh, those uh, drawing lines, if you will, correct, up underneath another piece of paper. Because yeah, exactly. This cannot be a guessing game. It's going to be exact. Okay, very good. Okay, so with that, I guess we're ready to go ahead and let the show begin. Definitely. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>